Hi, welcome back to the very next video of this uh, Spring Boot course. So in first video, we have discussed this course content, what we're going to cover in this uh, whole tutorial of this Spring Boot whole this series. Okay, so I have told you like this whole course content, what our mentioned here, this is not a fixed, uh, what we are feel we, uh, what is important for our course, we will include that, right? So without waste time, let us start our today's video. So our the main agenda of this particular whole course is like we have two modules, Spring Core and Spring Boot. And we are covering Spring Core because uh, it's uh, like very important module to like jump into the Spring Boot. Okay, so if we are uh, coming to the Spring Framework, right, because we are talking about Spring Core. So why we need this framework? Like, is it necessary? Like, why we are, uh, need to be jump? Like, why people are using this Spring Framework? So before uh, this Spring Framework is not in a market. So what happened? There is a one framework called struct like that is uh, style is structs this framework is in market and this framework is used to build only web applications okay only web applications and uh, you can't make uh, the standard web applications or remote application through this uh, framework so that's why we have a strong reason like our spring framework supports standalone applications web applications even remote applications right so we can uh, we are capable of making like different kind of applications but our uh, this struct framework is only capable of making this web application so we have a strong reason to switch from uh, this particular struct framework to our spring framework right yeah so now when people are switching to this framework the one more question is coming in our mind like it's okay for switching from struct to spring we have a uh, like strong reason but uh, the second question is if you remember uh, when we are contacting like jdbc like i'm taking a general example okay uh, when i'm pursuing my graduation i still remember when i'm working on those uh, small applications i have used this jdbc api right to making a db connection okay those are uh, like not this to making a db connections not db connection okay <laughs> to making this db connection so it can uh, like it consists of like uh, five to six or seven steps to making those connections so if we have this api if we having this api do we need like is it necessary to go with these all frameworks like if my api is uh, performing well and it's uh, like capable of doing my whole work so yeah this question is coming in mind right is it necessary so like if we have this uh, api then why we need the frameworks right so let me introduce to the steps to this api that is uh, jdbc api right uh, in jdbc api we have all these steps like first we are calling this cloud.for name and second connection jdbc and we are passing here my db username and password create a statement all these passing our queries and all right and after that we are closing our connection so these all are the steps okay so we have this api so why we need to go with the uh, frameworks important questions so just i need to be you need a little more focused here because uh, this will make you understand why we need some framework right so uh, the first point is here is api are very huge like suppose we have i just make our entire vertical representation here this is your api okay this is our api and under your API, we have classes, interfaces, a lot more things, right? API. And the first point is your API are used in nature. Okay. They are so big. And whatever the classes and interfaces present in your APIs, those are like interconnected, like uh, tightly coupled. They are like tightly coupled. Whatever present inside it, there is classes and interfaces classes are coupled like tightly coupled both are and dependence like classes are having dependency of each other okay so these are all having same uh, like meaning whatever the words i'm using like coupling or what are the dependency okay and one more important point here that is uh, important point like if i want to be used the jdbc connection right you need to be put your whole jdbc api library or jp uh, your jdbc api in your project if i say you okay this is your api and just cut this api 
and put into your project this is your project suppose okay and i want to be put your apis in your project and uh, like half of your api do this uh, your project will work or make our uh, capable to make a connection to the database no i don't think so you need to put your whole api either you are using uh, some methods or some modules of your api or not you need to pull or you need to fetch whole api into your project then you need to uh, perform your work right then you are capable of performing work so this is a more disadvantage like i don't want to be used that uh, all things what are they mentioned in an api right yeah and third point uh, this having third point and fourth point need to be discussed here that is uh, okay let me make mark here yeah so the fourth point is uh, like we have discussed already these three points and fourth point is API doesn't provide you the boilerplate uh, code boilerplate code okay yeah API doesn't provide you the boilerplate code what is the meaning of this uh, boilerplate code that is like class dot name all these five to six steps you need to be writing a whole class when you want to make a JDBC connection right and so let me discuss now the thing with framework so how the framework will help you so here let me make one line and this is for framework first if we talk about if you are comparing with spring framework here if you are comparing with spring so spring framework have a different different modules right like it has jdbc and it has aop and it is a spring core module right a spring transaction module so let's suppose you want to uh, just uh, like you want to contact your database so for contacting a database like this is your spring framework uh -huh. okay and this is spring framework has different different modules like jdbc aop transaction spring core like this and you want to perform your database operation so you no need to be like whole like you know not to put all these uh, here you don't uh, in your project you no need to put all this uh, spring framework in your project like what if this is your project is okay and you just need to put this jdbc if you want to make your uh, database interaction you need to put only jdbc okay your module jdbc module and you are okay to perform your operations and the second is it's not tightly coupled dependency very less dependency okay less dependency between the component or what the classes or interfaces okay and the third is like what we have discussed right like here the first one is huge and here yeah the frameworks is huge but you know need to be learn all these frameworks right if you your work is uh, like easy to learn we can say like these are easy to learn why let me make you understand like suppose our framework is having different different module this one this one and this one okay and this one and this is your jdbc module okay so if you are making a database connection you, you what do you think you need to be learn all this transaction all these module no right your basic requirement we are not talking about advanced or something basic requirement is making a connection so just learn this one right you only need to be learn all this framework just learn this one and as in this is not have a dependency with any other module you can easily uh, like uh, use this right and one more thing uh, the last point like for this boilerplate code okay so they provide framework framework will provide frameworks provides boilerplate code okay boilerplate i am writing it boilerplate code okay so the frameworks provide boilerplate code so this is a like difference like uh, if i someone asks you like why are you using a spring framework then you have an answer like you uh, before introducing this framework we have a struct framework so it is a have uh, uh, like capable of moving web application so we are going with the spring framework now if you like asking yourself or someone asking you like uh, JD, uh, JDBC API or any other API present in the market. So why we we are going with the uh, like frameworks, right? So you have this uh, uh, explanation in your mind. Like API doesn't like API huge in nature. We can't partially use API, and they like what a component in API is tightly coupled, and uh, 
the boilerplate code API doesn't provide they don't provide boilerplate code so let me mark like this they don't provide boilerplate code if you are making database connection in every classes you need to write uh, these steps okay yeah so now so add this comparison in framework framely overcome all these uh, whatever thing present in an api so uh, that's all for this particular video okay i will see you in the next video till then if you have any questions just comment it down i'm happy to answer okay see you uh, i will see you in the next video till then take care bye bye